ask us and we can share with you the presentation slides. Right. Um, and uh, moving to the last uh, campus, uh, uh, as I said, it's uh, sort of uh, similar to the uh, what we have right now. Uh, Uniki Al Mimat, uh, it's Mal uh, Malaysian Institute of uh, Maritime, uh, Marine Engineering Technology, which is located in Lumut. And uh, we have uh, Mr. Mazlan, Muslim, from the um, who is the head of section for maritime engineering in Uniki Al Mimat. Uh, Mr. Mazlan, you here? Yeah, okay. yeah. So Mr. Mazlan will uh, share on the offshore engineering program in Uniki Al Mimat. Right. Welcome. Thank you very much. So uh, thank you, uh, Olga, and uh, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi and very good afternoon. So I just uh, upload the, what do you call it? The uh, PowerPoint. So I got the uh, shorter version, you know, because uh, but they only talking about 30 slides, right? So now I, I got <laughs> <laughs> less than that. So it's about yeah. 20. Let's so, sharpen uh, it. <laughs> yeah, shorter. Because we have we will be the last, huh? the last of the what do you call it, or the presenter. <clears throat> so uh, hopefully you can see it now. It's okay. So this, uh, you can see the uh, campus, eh? the uh, Mimet, if those of you been to Lomot. So uh, we are actually next to the, what do you call, the uh, Lomot waterways. Eh? So uh, let's go to the next page. So, so BT Offshore with Honours uh, is a, in a way alternative program for qualified students from external learning institution eh, and with, uh, in KL to uh, continue study, right? But uh, we are more focused on design and construction of offshore structures for shallow and deep water applications. So it's a short overview of my, <laughs> what do you call it, uh, experience in the marine or offshore. And uh, we are, Accredited by UK and local uh, uh, authorities, right? Including Lina, Imares, uh, Marine Department, all that. And let's see the next one. The, uh, the uh, Bachelor of Shore is more on areas of offshore technology, offshore hydrodynamic, offshore design, structure, and Offshore production and fabrication and including maritime law. Okay, so uh, you can read further because it's quite detailed here. So this one is a uh, very gen uh, general uh, of the various domain of the learning domains, which I think almost all of in the engineering is doing it, right? And facilities. Huh? At the present one, we have all the uh, engineering drawing lab. The loft thing for ship uh, and CAT, eh? computer aided design for the uh, and also some uh, design lab, right? With uh, various uh, software. And some workshop that we have at the moment uh, is a material, uh, meteorology lab, hydraulic lab, electrical and electronics lab. Okay. And we have heavy and light fabrication. So when we say heavy, it refers to a uh, steel, eh? steel structure, but light, more towards uh, aluminium, fiberglass, and uh, also some wood, eh? wood structures. So we have the normal, what we call learning hub or the library eh? for the uh, children and the hostel facilities. So we have uh, the, what, a ranger for that. And this is something new. Uh, this, uh, we have a waste tank. So waste tank is uh, supposed to be the largest of its kind. So we have also uh, next to our campus is the UTP, Institute of Energy Portals, but theirs is not a uh, deep water. We are more towards the deep water facilities, right? Deep water waste tank. 
So uh, for student development, we have a lot of uh, industrial talk and just a visit. And uh, <clears throat> so these are some examples of the Expo, Marine Expo for student development. And uh, we also conducted some innovation symposium. And we have also a program for a young professor. That means uh, those that are in the industry, they give some talk to the uh, Student, right? So we also involved in the industry. Actually, for the offshore program, it started in September last year. Right? So it's quite new huh? for the for, uh, for the offshore. And these are some uh, elective right? uh, for the offshore program, just to show you the scope of the uh, structure and huh? <clears throat> and uh, we do have some uh, offshore companies uh, next to our step, example, Sapura in China. But of course, the MMHC is uh, somewhere in Johor in uh, some of the industries. So these are the, in a way, potential, what they call employer right, for the first student. And that they can also get their intra, right, or intra industrial training. Okay. So, uh, we have Slumbergers, Komi, FMC Offshore, Baraka Offshore Petroleum, and uh, Petra, Alan Maritime, Slumberger. Okay. So uh, I think that covers quite a lot. Eh? Petronas, of course, we have the Icon Offshore, Petrofact, ExxonMobil. So uh, I think that's all eh, for the <laughs> presentation. Thank you. Uh, th Thank you, Mr. Maslan. I uh, just wanted to clarify with you students who study the offshore engineering, what are the career prospects? Where would you find uh, the graduates from this program working? Yeah, so they'll be working in the uh, oil and gas industry, offshore fabrication yard, offshore design house, classification society, offshore machinery installation and repair, professional body, government agency and uh, training institute. Is a some example, and also the the one listed previously, eh, the uh, all these companies, eh, they mm. are the potential uh, what do you call employers for for the student. Yeah, when it comes to the offshore engineering, like do they require any professional certifications during their studies? Yeah. Or the so, yeah. So Can you cover on that? certification uh, that I mentioned earlier on, on the what you call done by the Zina, you know, EMRS, and uh, so these are uh, professional bodies, yeah? they will accredited to the uh, offshore program. So, uh, mm. yes, that is done. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, does any have any questions from the participants? <laughs> Our <laughs> participants are very <laughs> quiet <laughs> today. <laughs> we did not learn. Yeah. Uh, so the the programs that we have in Unikia, you can see like in the example of Enchik Maslan, uh, he has mm -hmm. 25 years of industrial experience. This pretty much applies to all Unikia campuses where the the instructors, the lecturers, and professors that we have, they don't just have an academic experience. They mm -hmm. they've been exposed and been working in the industry, so they can really guide the students in terms of the if the future career prospects and how to navigate inside the, this particular industry. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, right. in terms of the offshore program, uh, this offshore program, uh, same entry requirement, uh, 12th grade. Um, similar, two credits. To the, yeah. similar for the engineering technology. Yeah. They, they yeah. Have, yeah. For the, they will uh, have. Example diploma uh, with minimum. CGPA of 2, 2.0, and all that, and the, uh, what do you call, all the other, even for HND, right? We can, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. it's a uh, MPF level 4. There will also be recognized right. uh, yeah, it will be accepted. So, uh, very general for, for engineering. This is engineering and engineering technology. Yeah. Yes, it's engineering technology programs, and mm -hmm. uh, you can actually check a uh, majority of the programs that we have explained to you today, uh, excluding, of course, the business and IoT, because those IT programs, they are registered under Board of Engineering Malaysia, so students, uh, they will be able to, you know, have a put opportunity later on in their career to 
uh, register and the BET and the Board of Engineering Technologists. Yeah. Um, this program is open for a genuine intake. Uh, please apply yeah. if you have any students interested in the oil and gas industry, in the offshore, in the petroleum engineering. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay, uh, Mr. Mazlan, while you are here, yeah. we have one question. Um, according to offshore program, do you focus on construction of offshore? Yeah, yeah. platform so, or onshore too? So this one more on offshore, no? as the uh, term implies. So we are more towards deep water exploration because uh, as you know, for example, we have tension lake platform and then we have some uh, semi-submersible structures. So those are the areas. Huh? Uh, but uh, if you go closer to the shore, then we have the fixed structure. So that one uh, less covered. We are more towards offshore. We are more towards uh, what do you call it? Beyond, beyond the shore shoreline. Yeah. 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 We don't cover. Uh, I, I understand the question because uh, you're talking about petroleum exploration in shore, right? So we we don't cover that. We are more on. Uh, more like floating, floating structures rather than fixed structures. Yeah, that's our focus. Eh? Yeah, thank you, Nchik Yeah. Our yeah. uh, program is available on our website to application for applications. It's 19,500 Malaysian ringgit per year. And uh, as you have noticed, entry requirement for UNIQL are generally not really high. So we are requiring credit in mathematics and one of the science subjects, preferably physics, for all the programs which are related to engineering. Yeah. Um, IELTS for, on, for engineering programs and programs that we have covered today, it's uh, 5.0, except for UNIQL MSTAC, the medical science technology programs, where we require 5.5. Um, so thank you, Nchik Mazlan. It was really a pleasure to hear from you. Um, I would like just to wrap up our session, um, if possible. Uh, Nchik Mazlan, can you uh, close your presentation? Okay. Uh, just to give some updates to our partners today on the upcoming intakes uh, for UNIQL. Right. So I hope you can see my screen right now. Yeah. Our next intake coming is a cold November intake for foundation programs. Uh, many of you have noticed that uh, we have a new foundation program, which is Foundation in Science. It will be conducted in the UNIQL uh, MySAT in Malacca. Also, we have Foundation Science and Technology in UNIQL MIDI, Malaysia Italy Design Institute. Uh, the one uh, we had today presentation from Munchik Mazlan, uh, Musli Zamford from the Asia Rail Center. And we have Foundation and Business, which is conducted in UNIQL Business School. Uh, the applications are still opened. And the great news is that the, the cost of our foundation's programs for the students who is joining and progressing for the degree is really lower. So for those uh, who would join Foundation, in science, uh, the tuition fees will be only 6,500 Malaysian ringgit and uh, foundation in uh, science and technology, it's uh, 9,000 ringgit and for foundation in business, it's 8,000 and a half uh, in Malaysian ringgit. So those are the fees which are applicable to students who will proceed further to the UNIQL degrees. And uh, it's an opportunity for the students to, to start um, uh, this, this year for the uh, foundation programs. Uh, the registration date for this program will be in December. So we still have time to assist the students with the applications and EMGS application. The exact date for registration is actually 27 December. And the classes will be starting by the first week of January. And uh, also for the January 2021 intake, uh, our applications are still open. All the programs that we had today, uh, they are available for the online application. Uh, right now for our practice is to submit all the applications online on our website and uh, we will proceed with the offering as soon as possible based on the students meeting the entry criteria for UNIQL. Of course, right now I understand there is many questions all the time about the um, Malaysian immigration and everything. Unfortunately, probably we will not have that much news on that and when the new students can enter. Uh, but for sure, the students, they can study online and we provide the access to uh, uh, student portals and uh, all the other equipment like Microsoft Office uh, software, including uh, MC Teams, uh, which we're using uh, to today for the students to, to do their online studies. So 
in case you have like any questions uh, by end of the session, uh, this is the time for you to uh, to ask so that uh, we can cover any questions from our partners that you might have today. Right? Okay. Everyone is so quiet today. <laughs> Monday blues, right? <laughs> All right. Uh, it's okay. Uh, you know our numbers. You know my number. Uh, everybody of, uh, probably has my WhatsApp number. You can uh, text me if you have any questions related to our program. We will be sharing recording with you shortly after the session. So in case you want to review or show to your counselors, you can uh, share the link with them. And uh, of course, feel free to reach out to me or Tanjil Pan, uh, whoever you are engaged with, with our International Recruitment Office, and we will be happy to, uh, to, to assist you. Uh, thank you so much for joining the session. Uh, that would be a wrap up. Really appreciate everybody's time and, and effort to contribute to this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you and uh, stay safe. Thank you. Okay, thanks, uh, Olga.